Hi everyone! Thank you so much for watching another video of mine. Um, if you haven't met me before, my name is Hennessy Williams and I do um, drag queen cooking videos and also makeup videos. Today I'm going to be doing um, a look that I'm really excited to do. Um, kind of like this pretty in pink inspired um, look. So I have two palettes. Um, from Juvia's Place, which is a brand that I've been um, really supportive for a while. They're a black owned brand and they have just really incredible um, pigments here. For example, this um, pinkish red color here, it's just like really, really pigmented. Um, so I have the Zulu and the Warrior 3. Um, they have a lot of products. I also have a lot of sales going on. This video is not sponsored, by the way. But, um,. I'm gonna go ahead and try some of these products and I'm going to do a drag look at the same time. So if you'd like to see how I do this look, just keep watching and I'll show you all how I do it. Okay, so first things first, what I always do is I will glue down my brows. And then taking one of my brushes like this, I'm gonna go ahead and flatten them out. this that has been super hot over here in um, Northern California so normally this is when I would like glue it down with like another layer of prosade but because I'm not performing or anything um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just use glue stick and see how that goes but now I'm going to ha get some primer over here I always use the bare minerals good hydrations primer by the way, one of my pet peeves, just as I do this, um, is makeup influencers that are white and they will use the same um, Fenty shade, if not darker than mine. And I'm like, bitch, if you have the natural complexion of James Charles or <clears throat> like Kylie Jenner or even Ariana Grande, if you look at her original skin color. You should not be using my shade. I am actually a person of color. Now what I'm going to do is I take my, um, this is my Dermacolor Fixing Powder. I bought this from Krylon. If you are a new queen, um, setting your brows is definitely, I think, one of, like, the biggest hurdles for lots of um, drag performers. It definitely was for me when I didn't know how to do makeup. So um, don't be discouraged, just keep practicing and it's going to look a lot better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, MAC Longwear Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre and I'm going to put this all over my eyes and just give myself a um, basic foundation to work with so that I can get these really nice bright pigments on my eyes. Okay, cool. So I have my eyes. Um, done with the foundation now I'm going to go in and um, do my uh, contour I recently tried not doing a contour um, because I kind of wanted to have a more natural look and it's crazy how it's a lot of these uh, little things that I guess I take for granted that really makes you look draggy I just looked kind of like so simple and kind of like a typical you know like ABG Asian baby girl, you know, with all the nice lashes and everything that I was like, oh no, like I gotta go all out. I don't think that AFAB queens and performers should feel the need that they have to like compensate and make sure that their makeup looks um, extra out there to be taken seriously as a performer. For me, I do just really enjoy the kind of more traditional, um, draggy look. 
this is not really blending as well as I've want it to today but we're going to make do with it really I just think that my um, blender's kind of dirty I'm gonna take this brush right over here And I think I'm actually gonna go into my palette here, um, into the Warrior 3 palette by Juvia's. I'm gonna be taking this color, um, Fonty, this um, pink color here. And if it needs to be more red, I'll mix it in with some red later. But um, yeah, I actually don't really, um, I actually don't have any blushes anymore. I'm not opposed to owning any, but um, a lots of bright eye eyeshadow have just worked really well for me, so that's what I've been using instead. Now what I'm going to do is take um, my fluffy brush here, dip into that same color fonty again, and it seems like this color is really light, actually lighter than I, I expected, so this is going to be a nice base for this eye right up here since I'm doing the pink look and I'll probably go in with a darker color. That actually does show up really, really well. Much better than my cheeks, I guess, because of the contour. I think now I'm gonna go in. Yeah, it's nice to get to do this, but I wanna brush off some of the excess um, powder that's on here so it doesn't get too cakey. I'm going to go over um, with a brush and taking my NARS um, Canel um, concealer. This is like one of the best products that I have. I'm going to go in and cover up these brows a little better. So much of it away, wow. Now I'm going to add some darker color over my brows, or yeah, over my um, eyes, and then I'm going to go into. Um, the Zulu by Julia's palette, and this one actually doesn't have a name. I don't know if it was supposed to have names here, but I'm gonna go into this kind of like red pink color here. Just add that to the corners of my eyes using the same brush. And now I think I'm ready to go ahead and draw on the um, eyeshadow. So let's see. I'm gonna go in and take my um, KBD um, tattoo liner and then probably just, just trace in the outline here. since I've gone in and filled everything with the KBD liner and I have to say I kind of miss that look a lot. It's a lot sharper than just using the brush although I will have to go over and probably darken it in a bit. So I think now I'm gonna do is I want to cut a little bit more shape into my cheeks so I'm gonna dip back into my um, highlight. And yeah just do a little bit of this. That actually makes a lot of difference. 
and I'll be adding that highlight in that area too. I think I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with some powder. So I'm not actually sure if I have enough. Um, I'm using my Coty Airspun Loose Face Powder. Um, this is the, a drugstore foam formula. I've had this for so long now. Um, and it's funny, it doesn't even have like the beauty expiration date on it. But uh, you can get this at Target, CVS, Walgreens, anywhere that sells drugstore makeup. There's barely any left. All right, I'm gonna let that bake, and then I think, um, usually this is the part where I do the whites of my eyes, but I think I actually wanna go ahead and start drawing in the brows. So I'm gonna take this brush right over here, um, really nice liner brush, and I'm going to dip it into my um, Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream um, by MAC right over here. Recently I've been experimenting a lot with my makeup, but um, the typical eyebrow line that I like to do is kind of this rounded, thick brow look. It's crazy how hot it is, but like I swear a lot of my makeup is actually it's showing up a lot creamier just because of the temperature. Cool. All right, and now I'm gonna go in with some darker color and I'm gonna go ahead and um, line this area here with some darker colors that I have. And I think for this, I'm gonna go ahead and use another, another Juvia's palette. Um, the Nubian, which is um, a great palette with a lot of neutrals. <laughs> I've had like a lot of love with this palette, so it's definitely been used a lot. I'm gonna dip into the color Kenya, which is this dark brown right over here. trying to decide if I want to put lines on it like I usually do with my drag look. I think I might actually might. Sometimes it gets a little bit messy, but I'm just going to try. So this is my um, Kat Von D or KVD um, eyeliner, tattoo eyeliner in Mad Max Brown. I guess that's how old this is. It was like a promotion for Mad Max, but I don't know if they still carry the color or call it the same thing, but I mean, you gotta have it brown. Okay, it's not showing up too well, but I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And I think another um, effect that I wanna have underneath the eye is um, just something that I wanna try. I wanna have like that darker red color right underneath my eye here. Some people don't like to have red near their eyes because I guess it makes them look sick. I think for my complexion, or at least my style, it works really well. So I'm gonna take like a small liner brush here. And yeah, basically line the eye right here. It actually really has like a cool, um, I mean, I guess if you think about indigenous people or like Chinese makeup, Asian makeup, there's always a lot with red in the eyes, so maybe it's just not culture, but it looks good on me. I was gonna have um, a white line under my eyes here, but now I'm wondering if I wanna have it at all. I'm gonna go ahead and touch up the eyes with um, the concealer again, just right underneath the brows. Now I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and just brush away some of this excess makeup. Now I'm digging how the face looks. I'm gonna go into um, my highlight again and just 
maybe add like a little bigger boop for the nose. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit. I think I'm ready to move on basically to lips up. Uh, actually, first of all, I'm gonna go into my Glow palette here. This is the only highlighter that I consistently use. Um, and this from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to take my um, Fenty highlighter brush here. And I think I'm gonna go into the color, what do I usually use? Probably Starburst, right over here. And Something happened to this palette because it is like dropping like crazy. Must have knocked it or something. All right, feeling this. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and find, I'm trying to figure out what kind of um, pink lip I wanna do. I think let's start out with, um, I have my lip liner. This color might actually be too light, but let's start for now um, in Vintage Pink from Sephora, these itty bitty things. Looks like it actually needs a, a bit of a sharpen. So I'm gonna sharpen it up with my NARS um, little pencil sharpener. This was only $6, I wanna say, from Sephora. Super good deal. Already I think this color is going to be too light, but um, if that's the case, I'll just go ahead and touch it up later. I'm going to take my um, Gossip Girl colored um, lip liner from Huda Beauty. This is the only Huda Beauty product I own. I was just searching for a pink that would actually match with my skin color. Cool. Digging that color there, I think I do want to put maybe like a pop of a lighter color. I'm gonna take maybe just um, my old Juvia's palette, this color which I think is Yordi or something, and see if, if it'll work if I tap it on my lips. It might not, but let's see. Oh, that works, okay. Cool. See the magic that you can do with makeup? <laughs> to top that all off, I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty um, lipstick and diamond dust. Super nice shine. I actually have all of the um, Fenty Beauty colors in, um, this one's almost completely used. I should actually just toss it in Fenty Glow, um, Fussy, and Diamond Milk. I actually don't have any of the newer colors, but I have to say that they are really nice. Um, Fenty Glow is definitely my favorite by far. Really amazing um, Dusty Rose. I just haven't been using it recently because I pretty much used it up. So really like this look right now. I'm just trying to decide if I want to do that um, contour. I think I might actually miss it this time and then we'll just do like a nice natural look for um, some videos I'm going to be doing. So going to go ahead and get my accessories and then my um, lashes on and you'll see me in a sec. All right everyone and here is the finished look. This is my um, pink wig that I am wearing for the first time. It was made by Neapolitan. Um, just giving you all a little bit more of a look see right here. And then this is my cute little um, dress right here. I have it, um, I'm wearing it for a um, music video that I'm doing to Grace Jones' La Vion Rose. So um, look out for that video whenever it comes out. I still have to film a few more characters like dancing to it, so that's gonna be fun. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy seeing my makeup evolve and transform. And thank you so much for watching. Please consider giving a subscribe, a like, a comment, subscribing plus ringing the bell for notifications to support my channel and I really appreciate it. Um, if y'all are drag, um, aspiring drag artists and performers, feel free to drop a comment as well. I love following 
um, folks that also do similar things, also cooks. I will follow you no matter what you cook, even if it's mostly meat, which I don't eat. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.